So with how popular Space Marine 2 is, I kind of thought, wouldn't it be cool if we got another game out in for Warhammer that wasn't focused on the spa on Space Marines? Probably because I know Warhammer and Games Workshop pimps out war uh, pimps out uh, Space Marines more than anything else. I get it, Space Marines are cool, but guys, there's other things. And I kind of thought, well, what if we did another video game uh, that's in the vein of Space Marines, but with a different faction within the Imperium, or more specifically, um, the Inqu Inquisition. And that would be a Sisters of Battle game. Now, I know what you're thinking. Sisters of Battle, really? Them? Yeah, them. If you were to ask me, like, who's the second most, uh, um, the second most badass faction, uh, like, units in the Imperium outside of the Space Marines, Myself and a lot of people would say if there if I wasn't gonna like fight Space Marines, I would not pick a fight with the Sisters of Battle. Followed by the uh, like, followed next by the Inquisition itself and the Astra Militarum. Well, it kind of depends on which Astra Militarum you're fighting. Um, also, as a quick note, and I might do a video on this sometime of talking about why I think a Guardsman game would be kind of cool, but it depends on which Guardsman. Personally, how cool would it be to have a, a video game where you play as a member of the Catacan, uh, of the Catacan Jungle Fighters? I would say Death Corps of Krieg, but it's a lot of trench warfare. So, and also, Catacan Jungle Fighting would just be a Rambo game on steroids. So I, I might do a video talking about like why I think a Catacan Jungle Fighter game would be awesome at some point. But we're here to talk about the Sisters of Battle. So why, um, so why would I want a Sisters of Battle video game? Like I said, they're the second most badass, t outside of Space Marines, they're the second most badass army in the, um, uh, Imperium. I mean, not counting the Adept, the, Adept, the Custodes, because they're always there with the, with the Emperor. So, I'm talking, like, out there fighting the good fight. Um, so... Also, like, you can do, like, a cool... I think how I would like to do this game is something like the Malum Kaido game. Um, where you play as a member of the Adeptus Sororitas, and she basically... Here's how the story would go. Your opening, like, game... Your opening level would be you playing this, um, sister of battle, fighting alongside her sisters in a battle against Chaos. As to which Chaos God it would I would have... We've have already had in Space Marine 2 the Thousand Sons and the Followers of Zinch. So, and the previous game was just kind of Demons Nebulous. It was a member of the Black Legion, so that one didn't count. So, for this one, I would say just because of how like I uh, like how it would it would kind of uh, be cool to see like some body horror, some straight up body horror. My pick for like who would be the big the big demon villain because again it would, would be Chaos. Um, you are playing as the Sisters of Battle, and they, uh, and yes, they have fought other forces before, but they are used by the Inquisition to take care of forces of chaos. So my pick for which chaos god you would fight next would be the, uh, would be Slanesh. It would be Slanesh. It would be like a follow. I don't even have like you have to fight chaos, the Emperor's children, like those. And remember, there's a. It would be kind of a bigger power differential when you're fighting Chaos Space Marines, especially like the Noise Marines. Um, and while Sisters of... And I think that would be another thing that would be cool, is like you're not playing some like 8-foot super soldier, you're playing a almost... And yes, I know they have abilities, but you're basically playing a human, for lack of a better word. The Adeptus Sororitas are human, for the most part. They are There are some transhuman in there. But there are, but for the most part, they are human, and I think that gives a little more relatability to you, to who you're playing as when you're playing a you know a normal human being, albeit a normal human being who can lift a bolt gun and a chainsword in 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 the other hand and go to town. So, but still, I think that would be kind of cool. Also, you could just imagine the glory kills, like in the name of the emperor, <laughs> in the name of the emperor die and just fucking blow someone away the other thing i had a better i, I had a better joke don't uh, like i know i had a much better joke in in mind but my brain just couldn't get it out um yeah so what so like i said the main story would be you're battling in the opening level um 
followers of Slanesh, maybe even some noise marines, and or, or chaos space marines in general. And something happens to uh, to your character squad, and it leads to you being blamed as a heretic, kind of like with Titus. Um, and in order to redeem yourself, because like the uh, the Inquisition's like, well, you could you got one or two options here. You can either um, you can die a heretic, or you can join the Sisters Repentia. So for the first few new levels, you would have to join the Sisters Repentia, and you would and that's where you do like a lot of takedown kills, face fur, like just using only a chain sword, no weapons, only a sword, and like hand to hand combat. And throughout the game, you would get your honor back and get more weapons. You would get weapons back. You would get uh, more armor back, and you—that's how you—that would be your upgrade system. Now, granted, in this age of video games, that would probably be abused to all hell for microtransactions. But let's not talk about that. Let's not talk. Let's talk about like earning and grinding, grinding through levels in order to get new weapons and get new, uh, you know, get guns and uh, more powerful weapons and equipment. Throughout the game, I, while I would have the, you know, uh, the uh, Cult of Slanesh or just Slanesh demons and followers as the main villain, I would have on some levels you would encounter other forces. We've already encountered Orcs and Tyranids, so I think the next person that would be kind of cool for the, sister, uh, for the Sisters of Battle um, game to have would be the Tau. The Tau would be a lot of fun to fight because it's not like with the Orcs or the Tyranids where their force, like, you can just mass kill a bunch of them swarming. In here, you have to be, like, you would have to, like, this is where the game mechanic for the Sisters of Battle would be different. Like, again, going back to, you know, what I said about Space Marine 2. And keep in mind, I'm not saying Space Marine 2 is bad. Keep that in mind throughout the, what this video. I'm saying is you can like now this would be kind of like Gears of War where because you're not like a superhuman you can just like when you get guns you can actually or you know get actual weapons you can now like take cover and fire back because the the opponents in this hypothetical game the Tau use plasma based weapons so you would have to like duck down fire and uh, you know run to cover because you're not fight you know you're not gonna just like gl you could glory kill like. I know I'm using Glory Kill from Doom. That's just the best uh, comparison I have. You could do the whole Glory Kill thing in the game, um, but you have to get in close, and the Tau don't like you getting in close, because the moment you do, they're dead. As for, like, other ones, especially, like, when you're in the Sister Repentia level, that's where I think I would have... Um, that is where I think I would have, like... Um, maybe that's where you can bring in Tyranids or something you can just mass kill... But the ta but the big villains for the game would be the Tau and Slane and uh, Slanesh, or just the Emperor's children. Anyway, I just thought it'd be a cool idea for a game. Um, the Sisters of Battle are such a badass group that I think they can carry a video game on themselves. Plus, it would be a cool way to like look at the world of the em of uh, the Imperium of Man and Warhammer itself uh, through the perspective of someone who isn't a Space Marine, who's someone who isn't a space marine but still has that kind of space marine mentality if that makes any sense yeah but you guys tell me in the comments below do you think it would be cool to have a sisters of pat a battle game um what would the levels be what would the enemies be would you guys want that just comment below let me know other than that hope y'all enjoyed this i'm mr multiverse i'll see you next time in the multiverse